essentially. Right now, if we were doing our 11, players, if they're injured, you can play them. Yep. Our starting 11, I think we've got agreed 4-3-3 formation. We'll stick with a 4-3-3. So then we can do like for like, we can hit back at each other. Starting 11 to, to start for England at the World Cup, in the Winter World Cup, which just feels weird saying. <laughs> but okay then, who are you going in goal straight away? I am... Throwing him in the deep and a stick in Ramsdale in. Few, few. Okay, that's fine. We've agreed straight away. It's yeah. got to be Ramsdale every day of the week. And has. again, Pickford has been fantastic for England and it's really hard to drop him. Um, but And he does, I say, he does so well for England. Never lets us down. But I think Ramsdale is that class above and he will suit international football. I'm very confident of that. I you think can he, see the passion. You yeah. can imagine him wearing an England shirt, really getting himself pumped up. Well, that's not saying Pickford doesn't. Oh of no, course. Pickford definitely. But Ramsdale, does. I think Pickford would help Ramsdale. I really do. I don't think he will talk about it. I think both of them love the country and would love to wear that shirt and have ownership. But they'd also love the fight against each other and they push each other on even further. But with the age of Ramsdale, his experience of relegations as well, and now he's at the top, he's sort of seen both sides. And I think that might drive one a bit more as well. Yeah, potentially. I think that, that there's definitely an argument for yeah. that. Okay, then, so we've got back four. Who, who are we going straight for right back? Or do you want to just reel off your full, full, full back four? So my back four, I'm um, going from right back to left back. So Walker, Stones, Maguire, Chilwell. Back four, jeez, okay. So I, my right my right back, I'd personally go for Reese James. I really like him. I still don't think Trent is... As much as I love him, he's not going to work out for England. I, I personally, this is a Ben White. Yeah. And John Stones, and then left back, I would have to go Ben Chilwell or as well. Or Co- yeah, because he's when he's fit. So I think he's do you clear. not think your back two White and Stones, a bit lightweight? No, because I think who's it, your ball? Who is your ball with two centre halves? Who's attacking everything? I don't think you need one. I think if we play, I would change the whole style of play. I think right now we do need a ball with the system we play, but we've got yeah. good enough players. Ben White and John Stones can play out from the back. Yeah, no if doubt. If you can play nice football, we've got Ramsdale there, I think we could play out from the back. And you look at yeah, Arsenal yeah. right now, Ben White and Gabriel, no, none really of them, well. they aren't balls. Neither of the two of them are no. balls. And it's working. So I don't think you, mm. you would need that. But obviously, a lot would need to change then. Yeah. Okay, then. Midfield, straight away. The midfield three. Do you want to go first or me? I, I, I can go. I can go if you want me That's to, you. straight away. Okay, so the midfield three, I would want um, Declan Rice... Absolutely. Uh, Mason Mount and Jude Bellingham. You know what? Absolutely bang on, same as me. Perfect. Great minds think alike. I'm glad you said that. We know ball. That's it. That's simply, that's why this, this the podcast should be called Look Out Sam and Side Talks Ball, let's be honest. <laughs> front three then. Where are you going? We're reeling off these fast, but... And this was difficult front three because it's sort of based on now, but who could get better as well? Yeah, I really, this is the one I... And we have many options. I and, think, I th- and I think as well, no how well we other players have done in the Euro. So Saka did unbelievably for us. But he's, I'd, I'm not, I've better considered him for my starting 11. Oh, okay. Because I think we have other players who can, who would be better for us in the winter. Okay. And I've gone for Foden, Kane and Sterling. Foden, Kane, Sterling. And so you would you have... Which was our starting three in the first game of the recent Euros. Okay. As well. I like the fact you've come with a little a little stat there for me, a little fact. I've just, to, I've just, just put that. Oh, I've you just, just put that. that. I, yeah, th- yeah. I just you'd know got, it. You'd have, you'd have gotten away with that if you hadn't said that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he's done a lot of planning for this. <laughs> My front three would have been Foden, Kane, and then I was, I'd have had Saka. Because so I think Saka, Saka is just so good. And I really like Sterling. So have you got inverted wingers? Or have you got wingers on their preferred foot side? Well, they're both left-footed, so one of them... Yes, I are. Like. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, Saka hey. usually plays on the right. Yeah. And I'd play Foden on the left. I think Foden is good enough, and I'd play him slightly inside. But, obviously, it's not exactly... It's not going to work yeah. tactically. But that would be my front three, I think. Foden and Saka, right now, they're two players who've just shone this season. Oh, and especially Reese. Saka's been fantastic, Reese. He's got a lot of goals. He's um, still so young. It's crazy. He's, he's, he's dynamite. He's absolutely dynamite. And... He could be a world beater. I think Foden's currently ahead of him. And I'm just a massive fan of Sterling. I, re- I think Sterling does a lot oh, of good stuff for I think England's. Sterling is criminally underrated and I am, I am underrating him yeah. by not putting him in the starting lineup. But I'm just, I'm that excited yeah. about Saka. I, I know Pe- Pep has like hot moments and comments with Sterling. When Sterling's hot, he is scoring a lot and lot of goals. When he's 
out the team and he's off the bench. He doesn't really get a look in that much. Like he doesn't get many. He doesn't come on as sub very often. Maybe. Yeah. Do, and when he comes on as sub, doesn't really do the biggest of impacts compared to other players. Or when Mahrez comes off the bench for Man City, you probably know he's having at least two or three shots on target. And he's probably getting two or three goals. Let's be honest. Mahrez is, assists, Mahrez is yeah. a different grade this year. This isn't about Man City or Algeria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. But, but no, they. they I are. just think Sterling is so in, almost industrial for England. Yeah. And, and, and I say efficient. I think I think it's top draw for us. Yeah. No, I agree. So okay, then we'll probably put these teams out. Let us know, guys. Whose team would you prefer? Who's your skipper? Your skipper. Are, you, are you keeping Kane a skipper? No. I'd go straight in with Declan Rice. I love him as a man. He would be my obvious choice. If not. I think Walker, for his experience of how well, she's done for England. I didn't have Walker in my team, so... Oh, If I course, had Walker yeah, in my team, yeah. then he would have... <laughs> he's, he's a consideration for it, absolutely. Definitely. No, he's... I know he doesn't captain Man City very often, but I just think he's a I good leader. I just thought he's not even made the squad, has he? He's okay. a no- Yeah, he's not made the England squad. That's a notable miss. How on earth we just... <laughs> Is he injured? <laughs> I don't know. I've just realised he's not made the England squad. As you said it then, he hasn't made the England squad, has he? Surely. I don't think he's injured. He got, he's got, yeah, I just got just he's definite, yeah, he's not in the squad for definite. Wow, okay. Can you believe it? Wow, how have we missed that? So Gareth Southgate's just basically said, Side, I don't know what you're talking about. I think that's it. Side doesn't Side talk can't ball. Side can't talk ball. Yeah, Southgate doesn't talk ball. <laughs> <laughs> With me at the helm, we would have won in the Euros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay.